Hello everyone, meteorologist Ted Keller with today's edition of Weather Geeks and we're going to be talking about cooler and drier weather but it was led in once again by heavy rains. Here's the radar estimate from rains overnight and this is being recorded in the early morning. Got a couple of flash flood warnings in effect, uh, especially just west of Springfield around Halltown, north of there between Miller and Greenfield. Got some pretty good downpours this morning. And uh, also, if you go way out to the west or east of us around Licking, they've had in tr uh, tremendous amounts of rain. You can see the scale here. White is four. Uh, and there's a lot more, I think, in parts of uh, Dent County. And closer to home here, though, we had about two to three inches locally in a few spots. The rain's still going on, but it is coming to an end uh, in a hurry here. Here's the back edge of it this morning, uh, slipping south and southeast. A cold front is coming in. And I, I, cool front, cold front, I, in summer, it's hard for me to call them cold fronts. Uh, but it will make a big difference. The hide that's coming in right here uh, will be parking overhead in the middle of the week. That not, not only drops the temperature, but it drops the humidity, too. So in the early morning, we have 72 in Springfield, but the temperatures are only in the low 60s in northern Nebraska. It gives you an idea of the power of this uh, kind of a late summer now, uh, high pressure system as we uh, tick away into the month of August. At the jet stream level, not surprisingly, the winds are turning more out of the northwest, and these troughs of low pressure aloft are usually signaling uh, cool fronts or at least weather disturbances. So, this is what's causing the rain this morning. This is what's going to drive the front through later on today as this high, which controls where the hot air sits in the summer, starts to back up, and I'll show you that here in a second. Now, the uh, NAM, uh, one of the computer models we look at, surface map forecast for Wednesday morning shows high pressure sitting right over Kansas. This is a cool weather pattern for us. How cool here are the temperatures in the morning um, looking at 60s, but this is really more like about 60 to about 62 degrees here in Springfield, I think, the way this computer model puts it. And there'll be 50s upstate, northeast corner of Missouri, and uh, certainly 50s up through uh, portions of Illinois and Indiana as this high continues to slip very slowly to the southeast. And it will continue to move very slowly, and the upper-level winds will have a hand in that. Here's what's going to happen. This high is going to continue to back up to the west as this trough of low pressure makes the east very, very cool for this time of year. What will happen eventually is this little uh, tail end of this trough uh, here of low pressure loft will start to back up and break off a little bit as this high continues to move uh, to the west backing up and so by the time we get to Friday that's the situation and then by Saturday this little low cuts off in the Gulf of Mexico area usually around this uh, type of feature in the summer you get a lot of showers and thunderstorms connected with it but it's far enough south not to affect us it also cuts off a deep supply of uh, humidity from the Gulf so in other words we won't uh, really have high humidity for this time of year and the temperatures won't be all that hot either because the uh, high pressure area loft is backing up uh, to the west. So some relief here for the middle part of August.